everybody. Welcome to Enlightened Beings. We are going to continue with a new book. We were learning Tomer Dvora. We kind of reached close to the end. So now we're going to go to another work called Likute Halachot. It's from the student Rabbi Natan of Rabbi Nachman. It's a beautiful book. It's a lot about spirituality again, obviously, uh, how we could approach God, how could would we bring God into our daily lives. I'd like to dedicate today's learning for the healing of Avram, Yosef Chai ben Sarah, and also for the success of the soldiers in Israel and all of the people in Israel. And may we know peace very speedily in our days. So the beginning of Likutei Lachot is, Likutei Lachot, he basically based it on the Shulchan Aruch, which is the Jewish code of conduct. And Rabbi Natan starts to bring the spiritual ideas into the laws of this book of the code of conduct so it's really fun so he starts with a quote it says in the mishnah a person should strengthen themselves like a lion to rise up in the morning for the sacred for the service of the creator as it says in those days and a lot of people still do this it says huma or shachar that we we rise we wake up the dawn in a sense that even you wake up earlier and well it it is true I have to say that when we go to sleep earlier when someone does go to sleep by like nine or so and is able to wake up at that early time you're able to achieve much more and that's not just a religious thing I know a lot of people in the business world a lot of non Jewish people they they live by that that they they call it the five o'clock or even the four o'clock that they get up early and in those quiet hours of the day you're able to succeed much more. So the Torah was talking about this a long time ago. And it's, it continues, Shiviti Hashem tamid. I set Hashem before me at all times. Zekla Gadol Torah. This is a major principle in the fulfillment of the Torah. This idea that we're always thinking about God. We're always having God in our life. We're always keeping God in mind. It will keep us away from things that we know are not good for us. Because we, we, we have God in front of us. It says in the works of Rabbi Nachman, when a person starts seeking themselves and they see that they are far from Hashem, we're examining our soul and we see I'm, I'm not close to God. We see that we're full of many sins and blemishes and it seems to us that we are removed or to this person that we're removed from all good. It says the person should not despair. Rather, the person should search and seek until he finds in himself or herself some good. Look for any good that you have inside of you. He says, for how is it possible that he or she never did anything good in their life? When you find that good point in yourself, it wakes you up from your spiritual sleep and creates inside of us a genuine feeling, genuine feeling of closeness to Hashem. So these laws, the first laws are, are the laws of morning conduct. And it's simple, like the first law that we quoted was get up early in the morning, start serving God, and have God always in front of you. Think of God. He takes it to a, sp a deeper spiritual level. And he says, a lot of times a person feels bad. They see all the bad that they've done. And they feel that they are so far from good. He says, do not despair. Look for the good. Find some good. Find any good that you've ever done in your life. And that will wake you up, not just from the physical sleep, but he's speaking about the spiritual sleep and bring you closer to God. And even if you see that the good that you've done, that little bit of good, is also full of imperfections. It's, it's full with, it's mixed with many impurities. So it means that Sometimes even if we did a favor for someone else, it could be that we did it in an egotistical way. We wanted to feel good about it, and we weren't just doing it for the pure sake of the mitzvah. But he says that still, it's still good. There's still good in it. Even if there's some flaw, it wasn't completely, purely spiritual, there's still some good in it. And he says, keep on looking for more good. You found a little good, look for more good. Find other good parts. Even if that good is also, as he said before, mixed with many impurities, it still has some good. It has the good points. You keep looking until you're gathering all these good points inside of yourself. Through a person judging themselves favorably, finding more good points inside of themselves, 
even as we said, it might have blemished and emishes besides those things. Through doing this service of looking for good inside of themselves, a person will cross over from the side of guilt to the side of merit. Basically, when we're judging ourselves and, and feeling guilty about our, our lives, we are, we, are, we are kind of finding ourselves guilty in the spiritual world. So when we can find the good in ourselves, we can actually bring ourselves to the side of merit. And through this, we can merit doing teshuvah, we can merit returning to God, because we're removing the guilt. So to sum it up a little, as if we believe that we don't have good, and we feel distant from Hashem, it's hard to return to Hashem. We'll, we'll, we'll feel guilty, and it's hard to go back to God. But if we find the good points and feel close to Hashem, it is easy to do teshuvah. So now he quotes from Psalms chapter 37. I'm going to read the Hebrew for this verse. It says, ve'od me'at ve'en rasha, v'idbonanta ve'mekomo al mekomo ve'enenu. So he says, David is referring to this power of judging favorably in Tehillim. He says, the simple uh, meaning of the verse is, in a, in a little bit of time, there won't be a wicked person. You'll meditate on his place, and that wicked person won't be there. It's a simple explanation. On a deeper explanation, he says, through the odd me'at, the odd me'at is just a little bit, by finding a little bit of good that we have inside of ourselves, it says, ve'en rasha, we are not going to be a, a wicked person inside of ourselves. Through finding the good points, we'll start to maximize the good inside of us. Because ve'hit bonanta, and when you do the meditation, when you reflect, Finding your good points, you're tipping the scales of justice in your favor, and you're moving from guilt to the side of merit. And the, the wicked will not be there anymore. You're, so through your ultimate, through finding just even the little points of good, you're moving to merit. And through this, it says, through doing this, a person can bring themselves to joy. When you reach joy, you're finding your good points. You're at a joyful state. You're not feeling guilty anymore. You are not being led by the negative energy. You've, you've started to introduce positive energy inside of yourself. You will then be able to pray with joy and enthusiasm and inspiration. And this is what the verse means also in Psalms of David 146. He says, Azamra le lokai be'odi. I sing to my God with this, the little bit that I have left. That little bit, I'm finding the little bit, I'm singing to God and I'm praising God. Through finding the little bit, that helps us reach to, to praising God and, and, and reaching higher levels in our service of God. This is a beautiful part. It says, through finding these good points, we're actually creating songs and melodies. How are we creating songs and melodies? The songs and melodies are created by refining the good, the good ruach tova, he calls it, from the, the depressed ruach, from the, the gloom and de despair ruach. And this is azamra, I, I make songs, but the songs is also kind of the cutting off of the bad. So we'll finish there, I'll, I'll, I'll sum it up, that basically look for the good inside of us, by looking for the good inside of us, we move from the part of guilt to the side of good. Look for any little good that you did, even if it wasn't perfect good. And through finding this, these good points, we move away from the bad inside of us. We move to the good inside of us. It helps us do teshuvah. It helps us return to God. It helps us pray with more uh, inspiration and joy. It moves us away from depression. And it creates songs for God, spiritual songs that we kind of nullify even the bad that is inside of us and move to pure good. God bless you all. Have a great day.